In today's video, we'll be exploring Wingstop, a global restaurant chain renowned for its expertise in chicken wings. We'll delve into the fascinating journey of Wingstop, from its humble beginnings as a small Texas-based shop, to its remarkable ascent as one of the most rapidly expanding restaurant brands in the United States and beyond. We'll uncover the hidden factors that have contributed to its triumphant growth and also shed light on the obstacles it encountered during its evolution. But before we dive in, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, share the video, comment, and give us a like. Let's get right into it. Wingstop was founded in 1994 in Garland, Texas by Antonio Swad and Bernadette Fiaschetti. They wanted to create a restaurant that focused on wings as a center of the plate food rather than a side or an appetizer. They also wanted to differentiate themselves from the saturated pizza market which Swad had experience in. They started by giving out wing samples at their pizza restaurant and soon realized that there was a huge demand for wings. Wingstop began franchising in 1997 and by 2002 it had served 2 million wings. The brand grew rapidly across the US thanks to its simple menu, consistent quality, and variety of flavors. Wingstop also adopted the 1930s and 1940s pre-jet aviation theme for its restaurants, which added to its appeal and uniqueness. In 2003, Wingstop was acquired by Gemini Investors, which helped it expand further. In 2010, it was acquired by Rourke Capital Group, which also owns other restaurant brands such as Arby's, Cinnabon, and Jimmy John's. In 2015, Wingstop went public at an initial public offering price of $19 per share. Between 2014 and 2016, Wingstop was the third fastest growing restaurant chain in the US as measured by both system-wide sales and unit growth, according to Nation's Restaurant News. In 2019, Wingstop began using the tagline, where flavor gets its wings. The next year, Wingstop became available for delivery in Dallas, Texas through DoorDash. On June 21, 2021, Wingstop announced a digital-only restaurant called Thighstop, which sells chicken thighs instead of wings. The company cited cost-saving measures as the reason for the change. Wingstop has become a global brand. Yet, of all the countries the chicken chain has expanded into, it took some time before Wingstop attempted to take on our neighbors in the north. I'm referring to Canada. However, in April 2021, Wingstop announced it would be opening 100 locations across Canada over the next 10 years. It's no secret that many restaurants went out of business during the COVID-19 pandemic. Wingstop, however, had a much different experience. Not only did the chicken wing chain not suffer during this time, it saw record growth. According to Restaurant Business Online, Wingstop's system-wide sales increased nearly 30% in 2020 to a whopping $2 billion. Much of the company's success was thanks to how well-suited it was to handle the complicated logistics brought on by COVID-19. Having a robust digital infrastructure already in place and a proper delivery partner have more to do with the strength of the brand than anything else, CEO Charlie Morrison said. Wingstop's digital platforms already accounted for nearly half of its total sales prior to the pandemic. In addition, 2020 was coincidentally the first year the chain had delivery available across its footprint. Because they took the time to make sure this infrastructure was in place, it paid off for them in the long run when many other companies suffered. Wingstop has gone from a single restaurant in 1994 to roughly 1,500 U.S. locations today, via QSR Magazine. That puts it amongst the largest chain restaurants in America, according to Restaurant Business Online, and one of the top 10 chicken brands. While the up-and-coming fast food empire's steady growth during its first 25 years was quite impressive, Wingstop has really stepped on the accelerator since then. According to QSR Magazine, the company was the fourth fastest-growing chain restaurant in 2020 based on number of locations. The chain added a net of 153 stores during those 12 months, more than Taco Bell, Wendy's, Shake Shack, Five Guys, Whataburger, and Arby's combined. Only Starbucks, Domino's, and Jersey Mike's open more restaurants. Not only is Wingstop expanding its footprint at a higher rate than its competitors, but it's also increasing its revenue at a nearly unmatchable clip. The chicken chain grew its sales by 31% in 2020, according to Restaurant Business Online, the second largest increase among the country's restaurant chains. This came on the heels of a 19% bump in 2019. All told, Wingstop's system-wide sales grew by more than $600 million in just two years. 
The chain has no intentions of slowing down either. It has a goal of reaching 6,000 locations in the United States and 3,000 stores abroad. Wingstop clearly has a robust fan base. But amongst this group of diehard devotees, one chicken wing lover stands above the rest, Rick Ross. The rapper's made his love for Wingstop well known. His fanaticism goes so far, in fact, that Ross doesn't just eat at the restaurants. He owns them. According to Complex, Ross is the proud owner of 25 Wingstop franchise locations. The musician first thought about getting into the Wingstop business after his career took off in the late 2000s. He told Forbes, I began having those thoughts every time I pulled up to the restaurant. He said, like, yo, this is something I need to do. He opened the doors to his initial location in 2011, and he hasn't slowed down ever since. My personal passion for it hasn't wavered any over all the years I've loved Wingstop, he told Complex. You see, I'm still repping it like it's the first time I had it. And when I eat Wingstop, it's still like the first time I had it. And on the business side, when I went and sat down with the CEO, Charlie Morrison, he knew I had no experience being a franchisee. He knew I didn't have the time sitting in a franchise, but he saw my vision and my passion. He opened the doors for me. He didn't just let me follow my dreams, he let me go to that next level. Even amid its remarkable achievements, Wingstop has had to face its fair share of hurdles that come with being part of the dynamic restaurant industry. One particular challenge that has ruffled Wingstop's feathers is the soaring cost of its star ingredient, chicken wings. These delectable delights, which are the heart and soul of Wingstop's menu, have encountered a perfect storm of circumstances. From sky-high demand to limited supply, labor shortages, and even unpredictable weather disruptions, the price of wings has skyrocketed to unprecedented heights, leaving Wingstop facing the heat. Like a bold wing taking flight, Wingstop has had to navigate this turbulent landscape, where the rising costs have created pressure on their profit margins. But this hasn't deterred their determination to deliver flavor-filled experiences to their loyal customers. Wingstop continues to soar above these challenges, seeking innovative strategies to ensure its wings remain accessible and its brand remains resilient. Wingstop has encountered another formidable adversary in the form of fierce competition from various restaurant chains that either offer similar or alternative products. As the popularity of wings has soared to new heights, many rival brands have jumped on the bandwagon, expanding their wing selections to cater to the growing demand. Giants like Domino's Pizza, Buffalo Wild Wings, Popeye's Chicken, KFC, and more have entered the wing battle, armed with their unique advantages. These competitors pose a challenge to Wingstop as they may excel in different areas, be it competitive pricing, convenient delivery options, a wider variety of flavors, or even perceived quality. Wingstop must navigate this crowded wing landscape with finesse, standing out among the sea of options and proving why they are the ultimate wing connoisseurs. I really like Wingstop. Out of all the wing chain restaurants, they're my favorite. Personally, I like their mild and lemon pepper wings with ranch and blue cheese. I think Wingstop has a really strong business model and will continue to grow. Chicken wings are so popular worldwide and Wingstop has a good business model in place to capitalize on the popularity of chicken wings. However, I think their growth will be dependent on their willingness to substantially push their franchising model. I don't foresee their 6,000 store goal being reached without franchisees. As I've said in previous videos, Restaurants like this do not become huge like McDonald's, etc., without franchising the hell out of their brands. What do you think of Wingstop? Have you tried their wings or their other products? Which flavor is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.